offense and defense, and she knows how to step up in big games, and she's done it repeatedly over the season. You were down by 10. She made that three-point play where she drove to the basket. How much did that kind of change everything, the attitude, the, just the vibe for you guys? It was huge. That was a turning point um, in the game for Kai to step up and make that knockdown free throw. So that was really what changed our momentum and got us fired up to finish it out in the fourth quarter. Thank you. Uh, Ryan Wilson. Hey, Lisa, congratulations on another great game. Um, what are you doing differently this ACC tournament? You just seem like you're on just a complete mission today just to kind of prove everything. Yeah, you know, it's it's tournament time, so I definitely stepped up my game. Um, I know that there's not a lot of people out there that can guard me if my teammates are getting me the ball. Um, and we've been shooting it really well from outside, so that leaves up the middle um, to be open. So I'm just trying to step up my game and play as hard as I can for my team. And a quick follow-up, what's it like playing so close to home in this tournament? Uh, it's been great. It's not necessarily the advantage that it has been um, with all the fans here, but we still run out and there's a sea of red um, in the seats that are available. So it feels like a home game when we step out here um, and knowing that this is kind of like my hometown, um, it means a little bit extra. Keith. Yeah, just a quick question about um, how you're going to approach Louisville tomorrow. I know you guys, uh, big win in third place, so they're looking for some revenge, no doubt. I'm sure that's been in the back of their mind coming into this tournament. What What are you guys going to do better or differently to uh, to try to overcome that? Yeah, Louisville's um, a great team. It's definitely be a good game tomorrow. Um, we just got to go out there and play basketball how we know how to play. Um, we're not going to adjust ourselves. We're going to do what we need to do. Um, we're going to follow Scout and execute everything that we can and just play NC State ball. Quick follow-up to that is then, what did you feel like you did so well in that first game against them that you think you can repeat? Um, I think we executed really well. Um, I think that we were just hyped to play them. We had a lot of energy going in there trying to beat the number one team. So I think we have to bring that same energy um, tomorrow and just be able to execute which co what coach wants us to do. Thank you. Jonas. Uh, first, Lisa, uh, before the game started, I thought you had a new tattoo on your arm before, before somebody told me it was tape. Um, uh, my question is, how do you guys in the fourth quarter, you're down 10, how do you guys remain calm and not panic and able to mount that combat? Uh, yeah, I'll start off. So did all my coaches um, and they all freaked out for a second there, but all good. Um, you know, we just had to be level headed. We've been on this court before. Um, we know what it's like to be down and come back. We've had to do it a couple of times throughout the season. Um, so we really just had to have confidence in ourselves. Nobody wavered. Nobody held, held their head low. Um, we just had to keep each other's backs and keep energy find energy in the little things um, and execute. We knew we could play, we knew we could win. Um, so we just had to go out there and give it our all. You mentioned you mentioned energy. At what point could you feel the momentum and the energy shift in, the, in your guys' favor? You know, the momentum and energy really um, accelerated and shifted in our favor after Kai's um, three point play. We came out in the second half knowing that we needed more energy in fourth quarter, then we really needed more energy. So after Kai gave us that play, um, we were able to really go off and start hitting shots, start getting stops, and that's when everything shifted for us. Andrew. Elisa, it seemed like they were trying to play pretty physical with you, especially early in the first half. Is that something that kind of fires you up and gets you going throughout the rest of the game? Yeah, you know, it's not a shock. Team's trying to be physical with me inside, so I just had to take it for what it is um, and battle back, trying not to get any silly fouls, but you know, I guess it's a testament to how good of our team is that teams have to beat us being physical. All right. Thank you very much.